All right, buddy. So what's your name and where are you from for the people who haven't seen part one? Oh, my name's Demel Hanna. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, man. That's what's up, man. You're a little tired this morning, huh? Yeah, I just drove back all the way from uh, Hagerstown, Maryland. Hagerstown. Hagers. Hagers. Damn, that's a little stretch, bro. And uh, and uh, northeast Maryland, and uh, and uh, where else I was at? Bell Camp, okay. Maryland. You I know, know where so Hagers, I, Hagerstown is. Uh, so it's yeah, about, about an hour and a half away from me, two hours. But uh, you were on the show yesterday. You broke down a little bit about Cook County, man. You you pretty much described Chicago to a T, man. Best words to uh, explain the place: war zone. You know. Uh, it's vicious out there, you know, and you went into giving us a little bit about the background and how you got into the mix, got locked up. Uh, what'd you think, man, about the comments and everything? Did you think you were going to get that many views, man? I didn't. I, I did not. You know what I'm saying? I was surprised. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, you know, I had got that type of resounding, uh, applause, so to speak, if I may say, yeah. you know, and, uh. Yeah, but you know what I wanted to what I wanted to say before we get in before we get back in it is uh if okay. anybody uh misinterpreted any remarks that I had made that to be insensitive to any type of organization that is never my intent. You know what I'm saying? You know if anybody know me, if anybody out there know me and a lot of people do know me, let's go see this. They know that I uh I have friends friends and I don't use that word lo uh, loosely. I have friends in different organizations. You know what I'm saying. So I'm never trying to put down an organization, and I'm never trying to say that uh me uh, associating myself with that particular word, that particular acronym. You know, and I ain't throwing up no sign. Uh, I'm saying that particular acronym. You know, yeah. which is uh which is GD. You know, I know uh, that is uh, that is associated with something bloody. You know, I know that is associated with something bloody, and uh, it ain't all been been good, so to speak, in the media. You know, because you know people have lost their lives, man. You know, for uh, decades and decades and decades. So, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, propagate, you know, that particular acronym as if it's been. Uh, all good or anything like that and I'm not trying to disparage or be insensitive to any other organization man so uh, yeah. I just want to put I that out there I understand exactly yeah. what you're saying man you know you gotta say yeah. stuff like that sometimes when you're dealing with thousands yeah. of people they look at shit exactly. the wrong exactly. way they twist up exactly. your words and then exactly. they'll, they'll leave it in the comments section then you'll think oh shit now a hundred exactly. people are gonna think the same thing exactly, you know? exactly. Yeah, uh, yeah 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 so I don't want nobody to think that I am promoting you know what i'm saying that that particular era or trying to remember it's just really i'm giving y'all background on who i am and you know who i was and who i am today so yeah. in order for y'all to make the connection i gotta be authentic i gotta be genuine you know what i'm saying so don't don't take that as me feet force feeding you you know that like that you know the whole gang stuff yeah because that's not that's not who i am today that's who i became by way of going through those type of uh, changes and transitions that's all all right man so yeah i understand exactly where you come from so let's just uh i guess let's jump into the penitentiary you say you did 18 years and three months and uh some of the notorious prisons in illinois what's up with that man where you been at well, uh, unfortunately, when I left when I left the county, in 1999, around April, vaguely I forgot, I don't remember the day. Uh, you know, the, the 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 ride was like anything you thought you would expect, but you you don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you 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 know, you try to expect like, oh, okay, maybe it's gonna be like this, and it's not like that. You know what I mean? So. We had to go to Joliet first. This was 1999, so Joliet was still open. We went to Joliet, and Joliet was the penitentiary that, like, everybody would go to to, like, 
figure out which penitentiary which penitentiary they going to far as their classification how much time you got what type of case you got so i knew i was going to a maximum joint i knew it was either going to be stateville menard you know what i mean i don't think pontiac was a uh, general population anymore i think pontiac was all uh segregation so i knew it was gonna be stateville or menard so i'm like man i hope i don't go to menard menard far as hell you know what i mean yeah. like menard like almost by st louis you know what i'm saying and yeah so i'm like man i hope i don't go to menard as far as hell man ain't nobody gonna be traveling no 270 some miles you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it's so, hard enough for some people just to get to work. You know. You know, just just to get to work, man. I ain't I, I ain't grow up rich, yeah. or nothing like that. You know, so uh, they sent me to Stateville, man. I got a blessing in that regard. Stateville was like it's like an hour from the city, Chicago. That ain't bad. You know, that ain't bad. Yeah. At all. So so I'm like, okay, I get some visits, man. I stay connected like that, you know. So uh, Stateville is notorious, school. man. It was. <laughs> Didn't the feds come up in that joint? Yeah, they did. All right, let's <laughs> hear 19, about it, man. Did you spend 19, most of your time there? I spent. I did four years at Stateville. My okay. first introduction, my first introduction to prison was at Stateville. So I got a, uh, I got a, uh, I got a brutal awakening. You know what I mean? And a quick awakening. You know what I mean? Of what this really go be. So I'm going down. Well, 45 years. I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying, man? I got 45 years, man. You know what I mean? Well, I thought you got. I thought you did 18 and 18 years, three months. But back then, back then, I'm gonna tell you, back then, you did half of your time. I was sentenced under the old law. That's I was sweet. That it, yeah, it was sweet. Not no more. <laughs> Not no more. They yeah, were they had old law in Virginia as well. It's the same thing. I don't think it was half, but it was a lot, you know? Yeah, you did half. So yeah. if they gave you 20, you do nine years, nine months. If they <laughs> if they give you 35, you do 17 and, and a half. You know what I mean? So that's how it used to be. So I they gave me 45. So I was supposed to do 22 and a half, but I I, I ended up doing 18 and three because I gave back time. And that's what I tell you a little on, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I learned the law. I taught myself the law. Literally. I yeah. taught myself. Nobody taught me nothing. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's, 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 that I misspoke. A lot of men taught me stuff on the way. I just compiled the information that they gave me and I was able to really, create something in my head where I knew if I just apply myself, you know, can't nobody beat me. I had that mentality in prison. You yeah. know, if I if I apply really who I am, I don't care. I got myself back in court. I was physically going back to court, representing myself. I would walk in the courtroom. The judge would be looking at me like, damn, this dude it's tough you know so i developed that over the years in prison you know what i'm saying of just studying being around certain men they giving me the game they giving me keys on how to do stuff and really just how to move that's all you really to me it wasn't no gang stuff in prison you know when i went to prison it was about uh everything that we gave you it was like, okay, when you was a when you was a shorty, 14, 15, 16, 17. But I grew up under my brother them that's eight to ten years older than me. Mm -hmm. So they've been they've been in the game. So I've been learning game from them. So once I yeah. went through the county and got that game, you know what I mean? When I hit the when I got to the joint, it was like I don't need nobody to tell me what to do anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm 19, I know, but I'm grown, man. I'm in a I got 45 years. I don't need nobody to tell me what to do anymore. And that's how the penitentiary is. Ain't nobody God shouldn't have to tell you what to do. You know what I mean? But sometimes they do, and that's when guys get 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 beat up. You know what I mean? Like, but but really, it ain't even no gang stuff no more once you get, go to the penitentiary. Really? A, hell yeah. It's about who you are now. 
Oh, so it's a uh, it's a major difference between <coughs> county and uh, uh, major difference. Major difference. Major difference because the majority of your incidents, they're not going to be gang related. They're going to be person, person, person to person related. It's going to be you and your celly. Nine times out of ten, you get into any type of physical altercation. It's going to be you and your celly because you literally locked down. That's the that's the premise of your show. Twenty three and one. I mean, you little man. Listen, Stateville. You locked down, man. Like you, yeah. they on lockdown right now. Like I get phone calls from homies that I was in a joint with that I, I did. I did eighteen years. So these guys still got natural life. Yeah. Some of my friends, they still got natural life. They call me all the time. I get prison calls all the time. They still fighting. They still we call it march, and they because that's all you do in prison is you you just march, marching on forward. That's just, it, just, man. Keep you going. Just, you just march. You know, every year, you know what I'm saying. You trying to create something in your head, you know, to just you give yourself some type of some type of lie. That's all you do every year. Imagine mm. 18 years every year. I'm just telling myself a lie, like it's gonna be this year. You know, like, and it ain't. You know it ain't. But you just got to keep lying. Ah, oh, damn, man. You about to make me cry over here, no, man. I'm I'm feel, I remember this those shit, feelings, man. man. Not 18, shit, but damn. No, but, but you know what I mean? But I'm saying damn. that's a see, – see, guys don't be pouring it out like this, man. They don't, man, and you that's the I mean? best guys way to do it, man. Yeah, man, guys don't be pouring it out like this. This ain't no joke, man. Nah, like, you, guys be in there, man, like. Damn, is I'm gonna get a letter today, man. It's torture, Shit. man. It's hell on you know earth, what I mean? man. That's the best way to put man. it. Man, man, uh, I might go get a letter today. Yeah, yeah. Those letters, man, they mean so much. I tell people all the time how much it means to someone to get a letter, any yeah. kind of interaction whatsoever yeah. with the outside world, man. It just makes your whole damn day, week, even month. Some yeah. people get a letter one one time a month. They'll make their whole month. You know, uh. But yeah, you know, it's, it's, I, I used to I used to not get mail so much. I used to not get mail so much, especially when I was in like segregation. Uh, I would psych myself out this way to not look for the mail person. You know, I would I would either start washing up in the cell or I start doing a push up. So because the mail, you know, the mail person, they come past your cell. You know, they walk past the cell, so I try to have my back, you know, because I'm trying to say, I don't, I don't, I'm tired of looking for it, man, and it ain't coming. You know what I mean? Like, I'm tired of looking for it, man, and it ain't coming. I got to, I got to, I got to psych myself out to not even want to look for it no more, man. But I, I'm still looking for it, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, for real, this ain't no joke, man. I know how to get down. Because I felt the pain, boy. I felt the pain, man. I painting the pain. that painting that picture, man. That's key to telling stories and uh yeah. you know, uh any ladies or fellas out there that got any homeboys or significant other locked up, ladies and gentlemen, write them a damn letter. You know? Write them a letter, man. Write them a damn letter, man. I don't I care. I think if you could email that. now. I think yeah, you, you can do email now. Either or, man. Yeah. Do something. Don't forget about the people that you have interacted with and had some kind of history with. Just because right. they got locked up. Don't forget about them. Try to contact them today, man. It'll make their day. But look, man, there's something I want to ask. You said it was pretty much lockdown in Statesville, correct? What was the lockdown? Was it 23 and 1, you said? Stateville was probably like 22 and 2. Because okay. it was like they, they, they ran like when we wasn't on lockdown, lockdown. They would run child. They would run child. They ain't no breakfast. You eat breakfast in the cell. You know what I mean? You eat breakfast in the cell. That's how I live from 1999 to 2003. You eat breakfast in the cell. Uh, you go to lunch. It depends on what unit you in. You got a uh, 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 B house, D house, C house, E house. Then you got PC. Then you had G dorm. Then you had X house. Uh, all these general populations. Then you had uh, F house. Some guy said in, in the comments, Google F house. It's the it's the last roundhouse. It is. It's a landmark. In yeah. Stateville. 
It's a landmark. It's a roundhouse. It's huge. Uh, it's huge, yeah, it's, man. Yeah, I've been in there. I ain't never liked that damn house. I ain't never liked that, that house, That place is man. crazy. Every time I see it, it I, looks insane, I man. Just I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it because it's all out in the open, and everybody can see what the hell you doing. And I didn't. That's not how. I, that's not how I did my time. I didn't like. We had to throw the bag. Like homie, I might be in two thousand. 2000 tripping i might be in uh 214 that's because there's four tiers in f house you got one two three four so i might be in 214 homie in 220 trying to get a bag to 207 sorry he trying to get a bag to 207 so he probably called me hey hey homie two you know what i mean he'll know my name you know screaming it out huh yeah he'll know my name he'll be like can you get this bag to 207 and i'll be like you got to say, yeah, because you know one day you're going to need something to go that way. You know what I mean? You can't yeah. be like, nah, you can't be like, man, I'm asleep, man. You know, because the bag might hit your cell. Yeah. You know how they doing the bag, man. The yeah. bag might hit your cell and you like, damn, man. I'm trying to get some sleep, man. You can't never get no you got sleep. You, you got you got You got to support the hustle, man. Yeah, but you can't never get no sleep at F House because it's a roundhouse and everybody not on everybody's time. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. that's the thing about prison, man. You trying to control your own time, but you on the time with so many other different individuals and then you on the joint time. Yeah. But you still trying to find out some type of way to control your time. Yeah. Right? Ain't it crazy? You, you know you what's see? crazy is this. This is what's crazy, yeah. okay? Now, look, after Lights Out, people screaming, doing all kinds of who, crap and block, right? After yeah, Lights yeah. Out? Uh, Hell now this yeah. Is, now ain't this, no yeah, Lights see, Out. Yeah, they see, there ain't no, no Lights Out. Lights. Exactly. Hell, in California. Not, in, not, not in general population. No, I hell know. no. Like in, in Menard and in in Stateville, ain't no such thing as Lights Out. Now, you know, no, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's not true. Hold up. Yeah, it was it was a little it was it was what 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 need not to be explained is already understood. Yeah. You knew you knew after a certain time to keep that shit down. You know, yeah. I'm I'm I, I, I'm talking out of turn. But yeah, yeah, you, you knew that was a policy in Stateville and Menard. After a certain time, you keep that shit down. That music, keep that shit down. That, yeah. that you and your homeboy talking, keep that shit down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but there's still gonna be, uh, it's still gonna be kind of somewhat, you know, people screaming back and forth every now and then, or might have some people singing out loud, some rapping, uh, yeah. late, late, you know, late into the night. Uh, yeah. what's crazy to me is like in a lot of places, especially in like level four yards in like California. I mean, once after like I think 9 p.m. or something, in a lot of places. It's done. Like, if you don't if you don't shut up after nine p.m., you're liable to start some kind of damn race war or some shit. You know, gang riot. Isn't that crazy, man? Uh, hell yeah. Hey, listen. <laughs> hey, listen. Man, hell no, man. Yeah, I mean, sure. look. When we're in segregation, man. When we're in segregation, man. Pontiac. Now, Pontiac got a. They got a, they bogus as hell. They got, they just, the whole joint used to be a uh, segregation. The whole joint was segregation, though. And it was a mental, it was like a mental ward. Yeah. It was crazy, it was crazy man. Yeah. I mean, like guys was literally like playing in their feces, man. Yeah. I mean, like guys, listen, they used their feces as a weapon. Yeah. And, and whatever type of interaction that they had with with somebody they didn't like, yeah. they you know like they stopped they stopped in Pontiac when I was just there in 2012. Everything they sold us they sold us in packs. They didn't give it to us in bottles. Toothpaste didn't come in bottles because guys would use the toothpaste bottle or the toothpaste pack and put feces in there and shoot it and squirt it at somebody. So they would give us toothpaste in packs. Uh, the deodorant. How the hell did that deodorant come? It wasn't like a thing. It was some type of way. It was some type of way. You couldn't use it as a weapon. I know that much. They didn't. Get, <laughs> I'm. I'm telling you, man. These guys just. This what they used to do. 
they would use them milk cartons. That's why before you, when you in Pontiac segregation, you got a strip search before they let you outside. And you ain't going outside into nothing but a damn dog cage. Yeah. It's literally like a dog cage. Like You know, that's how it is in the maximum, maximum it's security. Dog, it's a dog kennel. It's like maybe like 16 of them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like maybe like 16 because they're only taking like so many people to yard. But they got so many different cages and stuff. So, but people ain't going to yard because they didn't got into it with the, with the guy down here, and, and they know this dude be, man. I see, I seen some, some disgusting stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Some disgusting yeah. stuff. Like, well, let me like, ask you this, man. Before yeah. you get into that stuff, let me ask you this. Yeah. Over there in Statesville, since it was like 22 and two, and you did like four years in there. Was there ever any time where you didn't get along with your cellmate and you were like, look, one of us got to go, you know, uh, any situations like that? Because, you know, it's hard to find a really good cellmate in a lockdown status like that. And when you do, it's like, you know, prime real estate to have a, a great cellmate, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And I know I've had cellmates where I was like, Shh, God, if I wasn't going home, I'd probably... Uh, I'd be catching a body right now, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Me, and, me, and, me, and a few of my cellmates got it on. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That just, that's just what men do. You yeah. feel me? That's just what men do. So, uh, I don't know, man. I guess, I guess we were just probably tired of each other. You that's know what, that's I'm what it gets. You start getting on each other's <laughs> nerves. <laughs> You know, I guess we were just probably tired of each other. And I could laugh about it. I could laugh about it now. I I think I laughed about it the next day, the day after. You know what I mean? But uh, I know I had to go to the – I remember this day vividly. I had to go to the uh, – this was 99. This was a couple months after I got to the penitentiary. This was my first fight, really. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So uh, I had to go to the, to the law library. You know what I mean? I'm trying to look up certain cases. I didn't got a couple pieces of paper about this legal work. You know, guys and told me, man, just go to the law library and look them cases up and read the cases. That's how you learn this stuff. I'm 19. I'm like, man, I got to do what I got to do. So my celly, he's slow dragging. I'm like, man, can I get over here, man, by the damn toilet, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he like, man, you should have got up. I'm like, what? Man, I'm up now. Listen, I need to get over there to get to the law library, man. Come on, I'm trying. Yeah. You know, because I was always a rationale type of dude. You uh -huh. know what I mean? I always tried to approach every situation with reason because I know when it gets bad, it gets bad. Uh -huh. I know that. I knew that. You know what I'm saying? And them living in them little sales. You know what I mean? Somebody can seriously get hurt up in here. It's a lot of steel up in here. Yeah. You feel me? So I knew that coming from the county. I had, you know, got into a few tussles. You know what I mean? With guys in the cell, or in the gallery, decks go up, game fights or whatever. You know, I had been in my share. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to avoid this type of stuff, man in these sales, man. I ain't never been one to try to act as if I'm the tough guy because I know what I'm going to do. I always know what I'm going to do. And I know what I'm going to do may not be what you think I'm going to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm always trying to avoid those type of confrontations. But sometimes, you know, it's just you just got to jump into the fray. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know, so uh, me and him, we tussled pretty good, you know what I mean, that time. But it was all love, I think, because, you know what I mean, uh, we kind of came from the same. You know, you be still knowing, even though that gang stuff don't matter, it, it, it like that you grow up out of that stuff, you know, because it's not about no gang stuff no more. You don't hate nobody no more. When you get to the penitentiary, you don't hate. You don't hate like different gang members. You do when you are when you are adolescent because you don't know no damn better. You don't know no better. You know what I mean? You just you hate for no reason when you are adolescent because uh, that's just how uh, you came up seeing. That's what you came up seeing. Yeah. So nobody ever tell you like, no, you really ain't got to hate them. You know, so them cycles just continue. Them cycles of hate.
them cycles of mayhem, them cycles of, of division and dissension. They continue because nobody say you ain't really got to hate them, man. You know, you could really be like, dude, I like them shoes you got on because now that's all it is today. It's just hate. You know, when you think about the violence in Chicago, not to deviate, but when you think about the violence in Chicago, it's just about hate. You know, this guy might have some, he might have some good music, you know, on YouTube. And this guy might have some good music too, but they from different blocks. And for some reason, they just don't like each other. You know, rather than just say, man, dude, you got some good music, Joe. You popping, man. They don't like each other because it used to be a war between them blocks. You feel me? You know me? what so, I think it is, man? What's Honestly, that? you said yeah. it yesterday the best, uh, especially out in Chicago, you know, it's a culture, okay? It is it's a, a culture, culture. It's bad. and you it's said this. I said, man, what made you let that damn penis doctor put that in you? You know what I mean? Yeah. And you said it's because, you know, everyone else is doing it. Everyone heard what happens. This is It's it's the drill, you know? That's the drill. And that's kind of just the same with the youth in Chicago. They're like, this is the drill, man. You hey, know? hey, 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 and, and that's a double entendre, what you just said. This is I don't know drill. what entendre means. What does that mean? That's like that's like a paradox, right? Okay. It's like it it like it all contradicts itself. But it's yeah. it's it's masterful. But it's masterful because you said that's the drill and that's what they call their music. They call their music drill music. I, I I know they call it that. I didn't even think about it like that. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's gonna be some. It's gonna be some 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 young guys watching this. They gonna be like, dude, dude, know what he talking about? They call their music drill music because that's that's like when they kill you, they it's like drilling. Yeah. Think about it when when you shoot when you, I, I I've never done it, but I can I can just imagine when you standing over somebody shooting, that's what you doing you drilling you see that yeah, <laughs> you see how I, how I just described that but that's the coach in Chicago man it's not no joke that's why I say I get on here and I apologize to anybody yeah. that may misinterpret anything I said I ain't I ain't promoting no type of gain nothing you know what I'm saying because I didn't morphed you know above and beyond that I'm not that I'm not that dude no more I don't promote dissension I hate to interrupt you man but do you believe hate could be a part of culture Hate is a part of culture, man. Yeah. It is, bro. That's why that's why me and you is able to talk because we able to look beyond this shit. Yeah. That's on that's right here, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We able to look beyond that. And that's that be the problem, man. You know, like like I got a friend on here that he told me about you. He like, man, you need to go on there, man, and tell your story. I'm like, who is he? He told me about you. He a white guy. Yeah, but that's my friend. I've been knowing him forever since we was in third, fourth grade. But he know I lived a certain type of lifestyle. He don't judge me. He embraced me. You know what I mean? And that be the problem, man. It's that. It's that. It's that culture we brought up in just to hate, just to have these misconceptions for each other, man. You know what I'm saying? So we never even talk to each other. We walk past each other, don't say shit. You know what I'm saying? We look at each other like. You know, man, don't just, you know, don't lower your gaze for what? Why am I in a staring match with you? We ain't gotta be, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's that, it's just that, 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 that impervious wall that each human being has up for no reason. No damn but reason, man. No reason, but this is what society has taught us. So, yeah. But uh, Stateville, Stateville was Stateville, Stateville, we would get yard sometimes down there in Stateville. We would get yard, yard would be like, it was like a basketball court, a little area where you probably could, you know, like the grass, you could work out, do your jumping jacks and everything. I'd be uh and then we would get we would go to the gym, lift weights. Uh Stateville had a big yard. Like if people Google Stateville, they'll see the layout of it. It had a big yard. They had the weights over there. So I would lift weights, no question, but I was never like the type that to try to be a bodybuilder. You know, I think I got up to, I did 18 years. I think I got up to probably 275. I was always slammed though. I was just strong as hell. You yeah. know what I mean? I was just strong as hell. So, you know, uh, from Stateville, I went to uh, Lawrence. I gave back time. 
I learned the law. I taught myself. I, I literally taught myself. My mother helped me. She helped me uh, the first uh, the first like three, four years. She was she was with an organization. She was with an organization called Mothers Against Injustice on everything. It was an organization she had joined and she was helping me with my case. And uh, I was able to get back 10 years and that reduced my time from 45 years to 35 years. So I had to do 17 and a half, but I ended up doing 18 years and three months because I lost time because yeah. of incidents, because of incidents that I had, you know, uh, that had piled up on my record over time. Sometime I, 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 I probably broke an infraction of the institution. I admit that, but sometimes it was done in retaliation because I wasn't your average inmate. I, I had a brain, so I would challenge the institution by way of, of their grievance system, and I would file grievances, you know what I'm saying, to counselors, and the counselors would deny me, and I would file, I would, I would, I would keep, I would take that grievance to, to probably the grievance officer, because it's a, it's a chain of command. You file it to the counselor, she deny you. Then the grievance officer, they deny you. They deny you. And then you file it to the, uh, to the uh to the prisoner review board not the prisoner review board the illinois review board you know what i mean and the mm -hmm. illinois review board they have the power to tell the institution that whatever you is alleging that the institution is in violation of that if you can prove that in the grievance the illinois review board will say he's right and i did that one time and uh it's funny it's funny man this is a lot hey i know one thing man yeah. The COs probably hated your ass. Hey, listen, look, check this I out. Know I know they hated you, look, man. Check this out. Look, 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 look. Check this out. When I was in, when I was in, uh, we called it Mount Sterling, but it was Western Correctional Center, uh -huh. right? And uh, 2011, they sent me to segregation because I filed a grievance, and they said I made threats in the grievance. I'm like, man, I ain't make no damn threats. I filed. Oh, so they sent. Look, they sent me to segregation. I did 30 days. I filed another grievance behind them sending me to segregation for filing the grievance. Right. So they denied that on the institution level. I sent it to the Illinois Pri Illinois Review Board. The Illinois Review Board ruled in my favor, and they damn. told. Look, they told Western Correctional Center, this is this is public record. They could read this. They told uh Western Correctional Center to expunge that ticket from my master file. Damn. You know when you, you know when you catch a ticket, it goes yeah. in your master file. So they told the institution, expunge that from this master file. Y'all bogus. So I got that uh I got that documentation with me winning. I said, I got something for their ass. No, said, you all hyped look, up look, in that cell yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I got, I'm like, I got something for their ass. So I filed a 1983 civil action. Oh, on God the dang, on, look, 1983. Look, look, look. Yeah, I filed a 1983 civil action on the institution, right? So when they got it, they sent me to segregation for some bogus stuff, man. They wrote, the internal affairs wrote me a bogus ticket and sent me to segregation. I'm like, oh, they got that lawsuit because I had got it back from the courts. I filed it like 2011, November. I got it back in like two weeks. So they got notice of it like a month later. So they sent me to segregation like January 12th. 2012. I'm like, man, what the hell I'm going to segregation for? They tell me how you wrote a bogus letter. I'm like, man, I ain't wrote nothing, man. Y'all tripping. Y'all on some BS, man. You know what I'm saying? So they sent me to segregation. So I'm in segregation for like a month. I hit, look, I go hit my ticket. I go hit my ticket in front of one of the guys that's on my lawsuit. So look, I go up in there. I say, I said, man, I object to this committee. Look, I was, oh my look, God. Look, 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 check this out. I was, <laughs> I was like, I, this time, I was this like 2012. I'm a nerd. Nah, I know yeah. everything. I know all they rules. I <laughs> use their rules against them, right? I'm like, uh, man, I object to this committee, man. So they like, what? <laughs> what What do you mean you object? I said, uh, I said, IPI, it was a, it was a, a, a every institution, they give you an inmate hand inmate manual you know what uh -huh. i'm talking about they give you a, a it's a booklet that you you supposed to read as the inmate the prisoner convict whatever you want to call yourself out there it's your responsibility to read that book so i read i would always read that book so 
they don't be thinking big guys be reading. I'm a read. So when I went to the uh, adjustment committee, I'm like, man, I object to this committee, man. So they like, what do you mean you object? I said, man, IPI for IPI four four dash. Uh, I think it was like dash A B or something at the time. I've been removed from prison. I'm like, it 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 says that the inmate has the right to invoke. No, the inmate can invoke his right to object to anybody on the adjustment committee that he feels mm-hmm. lack impartial lacks impartiality. And and they like what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Who the hell this dude <laughs> is, man? <laughs> That's like they the cops pulling over the sovereign people, man. Yeah. <laughs> so they like they like who the hell this dude think he is, right? So I'm like, man, y'all look, man, dude is on my lawsuit, man. I object to this committee. They like you gonna hit this ticket. I'm like, I ain't gonna hit. I ain't trying. Y'all bogus, man. Y'all not y'all not following the law, man. What are y'all doing? That's how I was. I was never like I wasn't scary in that, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, like this my life. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You ain't Look, gonna just be acting like you own my life. You know what I mean? I'm gonna fight for mine. <laughs> yeah. Look, this is the thing, ladies and gentlemen. There's two type of people in the penitentiary, okay? There is card players and, you know, uh, basketball players and stuff like that. And then we have an individual like this man right here. He is <laughs> he is lighting the system's ass on fire. I've always, paperwork. That's what, that's what, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I said when I said I was going to develop a mind state, you know what I mean, that was going to be like so sharp and, and witty and, and clever, you know what I'm saying, and always thinking about, you know, not what's in front of me, but what's ahead of me, you know what I mean, you know, not what's just in front of me, what's ahead of me, I got to think, man, even yeah. in this sale, you know, I can't be like, oh, man, I'm in prison. Hell no. I got to be reading. I got to stay sharp. You know what I mean? I can't act like I'm just a prisoner. You know, hell no. I got to yeah. be, you know, I'm in school. You know, I'm trying to get certain certificates. You know, I got my GED when I was in there. Uh, college certificates. I came out with a degree, a associate's degree. So I'm always trying to keep my brain working and and outside of going to school i'm reading you know what i'm saying i'm in communication with people in the world so when i ever i'm telling myself all while i was in prison i did 18 years i'm telling myself if i ever get out man i'm gonna be ready you know what i'm saying you know if i ever because you 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 saying i'm gonna make it out but you don't know you know what i'm saying you you don't know you know ain't nothing guaranteed you know homie Homie, homie, you was just on the gallery with homie. He died in the gym. Yeah. You know what I mean? He died in the gym. You feel me? You was just on the gallery with homie. You you know, you know, homie, he was cool. He he dead though. You know, rest in peace, Shaka, man. You know, me and him was sailmates in the county from the county. You know what I mean? I got my time, he got his time. We we disconnected for about Six years, we met back up in Lawrenceville Correctional, like, before they kicked me out of that institution. And uh, later on, I heard he died. You know what I'm saying? He just he just died. That was my celly. You know what I'm saying? There was a few guys like that, man. That's the penitentiary. Guys be thinking, like, you know, it, it, it ain't real, man. Guys die in yeah. the penitentiary, man. You know what I'm saying? It's life. It's life in For that, sure, too. Man. So, you know, why not try to make this work out here? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, let's make this work out here because they dying there too, man. So I mean, what the hell? If you go pick your poison, I'm I'm pick pick it out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, look, before we wrap this puppy up, man, we're probably gonna do part three, man, because we haven't even talked about the uh the most crazy stuff you've seen. Yeah, all the gruesome stuff and fights and stuff yeah. you've seen. We haven't even talked about that, but we're going to make it a part three, so stay tuned and be on the lookout for that, ladies and gentlemen. But let me ask you this, man. Yeah. How how many damn uh, times did the CO say, hell no, you can't have another uh, grievance? Oh, uh, you know what? <laughs> they would hide the grievances, man. They used to hide them, man. I'm not yeah, lying. They you know they what hit I mean? them in our blocks, they used- too. Yeah, they used to hide the grievances because, you know, you know how to, you know how to, how to, how to, uh, it's, it's always when I got, when I finally got to the meeting facilities, I was in the max. I was in Stateville f- from 2003 to 2000, wait, from two, from 1999 to 2003. I briefly went to Lawrence for like 
nine months. That was a medium max. They kicked me up out of there, sent me to Manar. Manar was a max joint. That was the pit. It was gruesome down there. They was, they, they, uh, they uh, handcuff you and throw you down the steps. What was you the know, name like, of that place? Manar. Ooh, we'll talk about wait. Manar next time. Man. Ooh, wait, Manar, it, like all, all the still officers. Open? Hell yeah. All the officers down there, like six, four. God. Damn. Damn giant, Damn man! Giant look, city. look, look! It was, it was, it was this, it was this dude, man. I'm not lying, man. Anybody that's been to Manar, man, we call this dude Clark Kent, man. He worked back there in segregation, man. That dude Clark was like, Kent. man, we call that dude Clark Kent, man. That dude was like, and I don't, you know, I don't be, I don't be uh lionizing men. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't be worshiping men or nothing like that. But the dude was like. You know, and I'm 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 in the penitentiary. I already gotta gotta watch my back. I'm, I'm in segregation, so I'm already under a lot of a <laughs> lot of pressure. And then you know, I'm hearing about how they how guys back here in segregation is dying. You know what I'm saying? I get down there, I get yeah. mad. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, got this Clark ain't Kent a- knocking on your door. Man, man, this, man this, this dude walked past. I'm like, damn, who is dude? You know what I mean? They're like, oh man, that's they like, man, that's Clark Kent. I'm like, he looked like some like a superhero. He a correction officer. Good lord. Yeah. You know what I mean? God damn, man. Now like, you know why they dude, ain't making it out of there. Man, it, it ain't funny, but God leave. You know what I'm saying? And guys back there, like, man, they trying to, you know, and you got some guys that lost their mind back there. They've been back there already five years in segregation. They've been in segregation five years already, man. They didn't lost touch with reality, man. You yeah. know, you walk past they cell, they just there. And you like, okay, you don't see no life in them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, like like people don't understand that, man. You know, guys be doing time and you'll walk past them and you won't see no life in them. They yeah, just the light, the light is gone, my friend. Yeah, they just they just looking. They just like and you like, hey, homie, you don't remember me? And they like and you like, damn. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Over time, I did 18 years. So, you know, I might know you in 2002, see you again in 2010. And I'm like, what's up, homie? And you like, and they look and I'm like, damn, what's up, man? You straight? You don't remember me? And they don't. Over that eight years, they done lost it. Yeah. They done lost it. Whatever was up there, they done lost it. But uh, uh, what was we at? What was we saying? Well, Why was we well, concluding? Look, well, let's, let's just wrap it up right here, man. Let's wrap it up right here. One last final question for you before we go into uh, right. uh, part three later say, on man. down the road, man. Uh, yeah. What the hell you think is going to happen to R. Kelly out there, man? <laughs> Damn, what's gonna happen to R. Kelly, man? You would put me on the spot because I'm from Chicago. <laughs> you would honestly ask me. though, man. Honestly, <laughs> what do you think will happen to him if they threw him in GP? Oh, uh, man, I don't know because it's a small world. You know what I mean? It's a small world, man. It's a small world. You don't think and he if, would have and some? If, uh... and if, that's what I'm saying. If Robert, if Robert have touched somebody, little niece, you know what I mean, or daughter, you know, it's going to be hell to pay. There's a lot you know, of nieces and gonna, cousins out there, You know what there, I mean? Man. It's going to be hell to pay because some, some of them young women, they was from Chicago, you know what I mean? And yeah. if they wasn't, if they wasn't, it's a small world because I knew guys that was in Menard, they wasn't from Chicago. They wasn't from Aurora or DuPage or you know what I mean uh I just can't say Chicago cuz uh, Chicago don't make all the prisons fill up you yeah. got Aurora you got DuPage you got Rockford you got uh East St. Louis you know what I'm saying you got Champaign you got Decatur you know what I'm saying you got these counties that <laughs> you know uh it ain't just chicago joe this is like this state yeah. you know this state you know so i gotta say that like it's it's like real guys everywhere like i done met some white guys from springfield and they solid you know what i mean how did rest i didn't met some latinos from aurora and they solid you feel me i'm from chicago but you know don't think like it's just chicago you know what i'm saying i'm three months fin to be 40 i'm proud of who i am today you feel me? I made it, man. 
You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's why, you know, I'm able to see young guys and say, man, just keep living. But, man, they do anything for clout. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell yeah, somebody might get at him or try to. You yeah, feel for me? sure. You know, so that probably wouldn't be in his best interest. You know what I mean? That probably wouldn't be in his best interest to try to get to general population. And I'm not I'm not wishing nothing bad on that man because I never judged nobody when I was in prison. You feel me? Some guys catch they catch messed up cases, man. You had I had a friend. He had a case, his girlfriend, she was 16, he was, I think he was 18, and he video recorded the dope. But he did this in the 90s. But they had him like he was a sex offender, man. But this was his chick. He, she was a sophomore, he was a senior. I didn't judge him because he was white. I ain't, I wasn't around that talking about, man, you a sex offender. I don't get on like that. That's not how I am. I'm not that type of judgmental person. You know what I'm saying? Because I know sometimes the system, it does everybody the wrong way. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like generations and generations, we ain't had nothing. So, shit, we've had to use what we had to use. And unfortunately, we hurt each other in the process because once we get some money, we're trying to hold on to it. If that means securing our territory, man, we go do that. Now, now it's a war. Now nah, it's a war, man, because we we not letting you take this from us. This this what feeds me and and her and him and, you know, and and you got you got generations and generations, man, of people tearing each other bodies apart, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Tearing each other bodies apart. And that's why the prisons is packed. You know, and these young guys got these, you know, they don't got they don't have no sympathy for nobody, you know, because they feel like ain't nobody had none for them. Ain't nobody loved them. The system has wronged them. And man, we just got we just got we got we got man. It's like anarchy. You know, the only way this population is going to save itself. You know what I'm saying? We got to we got to acknowledge the, the brutality that we have inflicting on each other. You know what I'm saying? And then I think then, really sincerely if we do it, you know, I think then we can uh we can start. We can we can really say, okay, now we're forming a brotherhood. You know, like now we're forming a brotherhood. But if we if if we never really acknowledge the brutality that we have inflicting on each other as a population, we ain't going nowhere. It's just gonna be a it's, it's like going to be you playing chess. It's going to be an impasse or it's going to be a dead end. You know what I'm saying? So once we get over that, like me and you, we having a human we having a human experience right now, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ain't got that. We peeling the layers off it. We having a human experience. You know what I mean? We got to stop judging each other. When we stop judging each other and we start being a little more, uh, a little more, a little more careful, you know, with each other. Open-minded. Other. Yeah, definitely open minded, man. Definitely open minded. I think I think I think this thing will be very much easy. It'll yeah. be very much easy, you know, for our kids. You yeah. know, it'll be very much easy for our kids, man, for real. And that's a key one of the biggest keys to survival in the penitentiary, man. You better have a damn open mind to all these people that's surrounding you. Cause not everyone you believes better. in Jesus. Not everyone Hell believes no. You know and in Allah, what you believe. And you know? Allah, nobody everybody don't don't practice Odinism. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? You know, like, you know, I've been around, you know what I'm saying? Or Hebrew is with light or whatever, what have you. Everybody don't practice the same thing, man. Some yeah. guys, I've been in the cell with guys that had swastikas on them, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Listen, those your views, keep your views to yourself. Yeah. I'm going to keep mine to myself. Respectfully. And that's how it be, man. Res Some respectfully. Don't, though. If we if we talk, if we have a conversation, we have an open forum, then we can have that forum with any type of feelings involved. And I have had debates with certain sellies about why do you espouse certain views? Yeah, you know I've had I mean? debates like that too. They're kind of fun. You know They're they, kind of fun, yeah, but they always they end are, up kind of bad keep, sometimes. But that, right, because somebody get too damn loud. Yeah. Somebody start getting too loud, and you like, hey, homie, uh, come on, man. You know what I mean? What are you doing right now? You know, but they start off. 
Yeah, <laughs> they yeah, start yeah. off good though. They start off good. But yeah. uh, I've been in a cell with all different type of characters, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? What I try to always respectfully stay away from because, you know, being in a penitentiary, you got to have some honor. You got to have some dignity. You got to you gotta either, look, I've always told myself, I'm not the penis police. I need to say that. In yeah. prison, I'm not the penis police. Whatever you do with your penis is your business, but stay away from me, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if that's what you engage in, that's your business. You feel me? But I'm not, that ain't none of my business. Yeah. You understand? And that's the reality of prison, man. You know, like, I ain't, I'm not going to say, like, I mean, it's prison is, is a, prison is a microcosm of what goes on out here in the streets. That's all it is. You know, it's a microcosm of what goes on in the streets. In the streets, everything is big. It's you know, people can hide. They can hide who they are because it's a, under a microscope in there. You under a microscope in prison. That's all. That's it. But that don't mean the behavior doesn't exist in there.